Top of the morning, everyone. I'm just kidding. Hey guys, good morning, gamers. Be sure to like, subscribe. Not just kidding. <laughs> no, just kidding. Here we are again with a new game called The Shadows Run Alongside the Car. So it was a game in HIO that I actually downloaded it. Downloaded it. it, it. But the same as the freaking uh, what you call that one? Yeah, the One Night Hot Springs, where we tackled about the LGBT one. If you haven't watched it, go watch it right now. But yeah, so we're gonna go start now the game, I guess. So I guess this one features like a heavy elements of the game as well. Whose eyes will you see the road though? Okay. Okay, so can we choose each one? Maybe I don't know. What if we choose the boy though? Because as will you see the road though. Okay, so what do we choose the meal? Okay, we no problem at all. Oh, do you like the freaking Undertale one? Uh, gun it? I put the pedal to the floor. Gun it. The wheels screech as we pull out into the lane. The car swerves, but it doesn't really matter. There's no one else out here, as far as the eyes can see. So basically, the car wasn't that great either. There's a lot of scratches. It was, I just thought it was like a spider rip. But yeah, it's basically scratches. Maybe they're not in good terms, perhaps? The place is really, literally gloomy. But yeah, the abandoned station shrinks behind us until it's gone. Then it's just us in the long road. Oh, the roll outside the window passes by us in abstract. Like the whole world's giving up on having any meaning. We drive in silence. After a while, I hear the paint buzzing of the power window being rolled down. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. Fair enough. Well, that was a thrilling conversation. So maybe they're not in good terms as well? So I guess this is kind of strange to be asking other three old days, but... Oh, they're in, oh, they still don't know each other. But what's your name anyway? Right. We never did introduce ourselves. It's what is her name? Oh, Shelby. I guess I just go. Let's just go with that one. Shelby. Well, nice to officially, officially. Me too. Then Shelby names Dustin. Let's just let's just go with that one. I mean, no problem with that. Dustin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dustin and Shelby. The car shudders briefly as we rumble over a series of potholes, but then the road smooths again. The humming of the engine reminds me of a storm, growing far up in the horizon. Beyond these occasional si noises, we sit in silence. So, what were you doing before? Everything happened? Hmm? Oh. Oh, this is the first time she's actually started the conversation. Guess I'm not so intimidating after all. What was I doing? God, was I? A whole lot, nothing. I bet that sounds super impressive, huh? Just a scrappy job there. Not so sure she wants to hear that. I. Let's be the truth, dude. I was moving cross country. Then everything went south. What about yours? What about you? This ride is yours, right? Hmm, yeah. Well, it's really my dad's car, or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. Uh, I guess it didn't. Sorry, never mind. It's okay. The booze would have killed him, anyway. Him actually, anyway. Hmm. Be quiet in here, huh? Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Do you think there's any radio stations like- Oh! Is this the end of the world, perhaps? Are we actually seeing the end of the world? Or maybe some epic, some shitty pandemic did happen? I'd be pretty shocked if so. I reckon it couldn't hurt to look though. Okay, so these two just happened to meet each other. So maybe they're the only survivors left, perhaps. Radio. 101.7 FM. CO2. She's fiddling with the dial and we're pretty sure we're not gonna find anything. 
thought it comes in and out in waves. It was so often disturbing, it's the illusion of a natural sound. But then it goes right back to nothingness. Just then, though, hand one sec, go back down. I think he actually heard something. The noise spaces in and out, and something comes in into auditory pockets. Oh! There's something? Oh, nice sound, though. Epic sound, actually. Is that mariachi? Hmm. I can't contain myself. The sound is un unmistakable. Horns blare to blare joyously over the static in a sick panther. Will a man's voice reel so soulfully over it? I'm laughing so hard I nearly pissed myself. Show is nearly there too. That was just what I was expecting. Who the hell's out there running this? All the music music that would be left. And I sink back into the driver's seat, letting my mind drift to the music. The dissonance is almost comparting. As the cracked record wash over me, I try to pretend that I'm lounging in a truck bed somewhere. Out in the sun, mid-afternoon, shirt damp and dirty from a hard day's work. For a moment, I almost believe it. The music falls short for a few seconds before starting up again. Wait, isn't this the same song again? Uh, it's probably on an endless loop. So why wouldn't it be? It seems that way. If it's just ghosts on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. What you think a zombie it been listened to? Oh, okay, so it's a zombie apocalypse. Is death metal too obvious of an answer? Rob Zombie? The only to baby metal these days. I don't know, I think the great grateful dad seems more apart. You know, I've always wondered this, but what are they grateful for exactly? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace? Yes, huh? I wish they let the rest of us have some. It ain't so bad right now, anyway. Well, except for that. I shake my hand at the radio, the radio controls. So, what are you into anyway? Uh, music wise? I really like Alanis Morissette Top 40 Hits. That's where to sing. You, and don't tell me it's baby metal. Well, you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that might be for the best. Um, what do you listen to then? Uh, most people look at me and expect me to be into stones or morally or something, but. Well, you're actually. Probably actually judge me for this. <laughs> Try me. Okay, so what the hell is this one then? Ada? <laughs> just say Todd, she starts laughing at my expense. It's a nice sound though. I'm not gonna be poetic and say that it sounds like music or anything like that. So, it's good to hear. Told you. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Your music's catchy. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? <laughs> Yeesh. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for, Atla uh, for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I am pretty sure there is no right answer to that question. Except for that one. Oh, I'm 22. Need you, you, need you inside this. Shit. God, that's so young. Just practically a kid. What was I doing when I was 22? Still wasting my life to reckon. I wonder if she's even to school. But the young and the whole damn world's crashing down around her. I try not to make a pace. Pace! But I can see my knuckles going white as my fingers creep harder into the wheel. This music's kinda similar to ABBA, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? You should be happy to have it. That's sure enough optimistic take on it. Hold right, I can have a view. I reach down and turn the volume knob to a sharp left. And the radio blissfully goes silent. Farewell, wailing man. Now, she just us again. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? It's getting dark, huh? Sun sets so late in the summer. You know what? The art style is really, really so goddamn great, dude. 
But like, you know, the actual feel, like the world is setting apart, you know, everything's just doesn't care anymore, but yeah. We just have this pretty moments as well. I don't know what I'm saying. But you have this kind of kind of like eerie moments as well. Like peaceful moments as well. Where are you gonna go there? I guess this is probably like a metaphor for like call me for someone's passing or something like that. But yeah. The sun sets so late in the summer. Oh sure topic huh? I guess she doesn't want to think about it. I can see you blame her. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the street, street lights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. True, 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 true. Kind of pitting for the end of the world. True. A light like this. So, you never told me what it is what that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but, well, um, what do you like to do? Or what did you do for everything? Actually, I work a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break, back to work, get out of work, eat dinner, and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. The whole thing would start all over again in the morning, like the same fucking routine. So that's about it. I guess that'd be most people's story. But it's tough out here. It was tough. Probably tougher now. Heh. <laughs> All kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You break your damn tail up and everything goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? Yeah. But I guess it doesn't matter either way. So, what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. Ah. I used to travel a lot. Looking for work and stuff. Oh, I suppose you could, you should you could call me a bit of a nomad. Well, that sure is so lofty. It sounds really cliche. Not really. The story just suits you. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. And you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself, get to a pretty dark place. But to the point, I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Yes, I got my wish, didn't I? Wishes, wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? <laughs> yeah, monkey spaw. I don't think she knows, she knows I've noticed, but she's been pressing at her god a lot. Wonder if she's still alright. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way, and I'm not sure it's gotten much better. We probably, we probably should have looked for some more bags of that ginger stuff. Comment on her hand, as if she's nauseous. Oh, comment on her hand, yeah, as if she's nauseous, dude. Still really nauseous, huh? Oh yeah, it's gotten a little better, but I'm just exhausted. Which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I do, but Christ, I'm really not equipped for this. I know first aid, I can stitch up a cut, but gastric distress is a bit beyond me. You think we should stop and rest? No, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just reach gas. Right, you will. If everything wasn't so weird these days anyway, I called it suspicious that there was only a single tank's worth left. Yeah, it's basically maybe three days after the zombie thing happened. Before the zombie thing happened. Not much we can do about that though. On what is this then? Do you ever wonder? Like, why us? How did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? Huh, <sighs> then I used to. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought. I'll tell you that. We're here. That's what matters. In spite of it all, 
You're here. And we're safe. The how and why of it is just garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. In the first couple months, I just kept working. Kept on like, everything was fine. And then... Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want, but... You're old man. What happened? Hey, dad? <laughs> so he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a dad bit alcoholic. We wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so we wander up to another one. Uh, excuse me? It so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before he even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. Wait, now we feel like I want to puke. Hey, please don't say things like that, Shelby. One of us has to keep this up. Press hand on hers? Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's for me, perhaps? Press hand on hers. I slide my right hand up the wheel. Her hand is resting by her leg, near the center console, so we reach over. I thought she might pull away, but she doesn't. Her shoulders full, and I think I hear her sigh. Wow. Her skin feels really cold. Is that normal? Maybe because the window's open. Maybe it's because she's sick. I wish I knew a bit more. Medical shit right about now. Actually, if she had a fever, shouldn't she be hotter? A chill like that can be normal. It's not even that cold in here. But we're still here, I just remember that. Until the changes. There's still time. Things might never get any better, it'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. Ah. That's pretty cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him, I bet it must be hard. Losing someone that close to you. Yeah, I guess. It all happened so fast. I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one cares about us being around a long while. I wonder if there's anyone else still feel out there. I wonder if they're stuck out here like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Damn, son. Whew. Okay, so basically they just woke at 1 in the morning. The clock, car's clock, is set right. It's nearing one in, the one in the morning now. The road is as dead as it ever was. But it somehow, it somehow feels even emptier. More sinister. Oh! Forgot one. My eyes are getting heavier. I can stop now though. We've still got so much harder to go. Even if we... Hey Dustin. There's something I need to tell you. She puts her hand to her stomach again. Later in stick told me not to make my eyes up the road, but I do anyway to look at her. She looks real bad, worse than I've seen yet. A couple times she opens and shuts her mouth. Why do I have such a bad feeling about this? I should have said something before I wanted to, but I was scared. I'm still scared. Damn it. God damn it, I should have known it. I heard so much unreliable crap about the symptoms, but I guess they weren't so full of shit after all. I. Hey, stop! It's okay. But I. Just? So she got. Yeah. So, surely. Got better, I guess? Just. Keep calm, alright? 
We don't even really know how this all works, so maybe there's a way. Does it hurt? No, this is much to expect that it's too. I mostly just feel cold and hungry, hungry. I'm not even sure if that has anything to do with it being bitten. If it wasn't for this, I might think I just imagine it. I wish. I wish I was streaming right now. I wish this wasn't reality. Fuck it all. I thought I was keeping it together. Don't do this to me, kid. I swallow, but it doesn't make my throat any less dry. Corners of my eyes are burning. Oh no, surely some pain now. Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes. Monkey's far right. I guess sitting in the car bits having customers or my manager yell at me. Silver lining. Retail? Almost as bad as zombies. Worse probably. I try. But I can't muster up the wheel to lap. Anyway, you should sleep if you want to. I'll probably be on this road a while. Yeah, you're right. Will you will you make me up if anything happens? Of course. And hey, gotta be something somewhere better down the road down the road, right? Better than back there at any rate. Yeah, maybe there'll even be a station that plays both Al Alanis and Abba. There is, if there is or ever was a station like that out there, I'd love to hear it. Hell, I'd love to shake the hand of whoever was running it. This life's too short. To not just do whatever the hell you want. But I guess it ain't the time to be wasting on that. Wasting? Is that the word? Wake waxing? Is that my right pronunciation? I don't know how long, how much longer this tank's, this tank's gonna get us. Well, ain't much else to do now, but don't want to look at anymore. Road's slow and our curse is true. Nowhere to run but forward. Damn, son. Damn! Early Lyska and Aro Cyanide. Damn! Yeah, so actually, <laughs> it's actually kind of a bit unexpected, actually. I actually was thinking that they both like gonna go suicide or something and just like miss happy topics. <laughs> but yeah, I guess this one's like a post-apocalyptic scene. It's actually so sad and weird. And how a person just runs into her, his or in her mind whenever he got like at the end of it. Like, yeah, what you gotta do, you don't know what you actually do at like, the end of it. But, yeah. It's kind of weird. I don't know, man. It hits me to brain again. I, I, actually, at the entire part, I was just like focusing like the entire script. I mean, the entire dialogue. It was just like, yeah, I guess I'm kind of get on the mood right now to like just read it all and not to like add some entire commentary at it. I don't know. But yeah, it's actually kind of nice to play the game. Actually, the art style is actually great, dude. Like the the lights as well, from like the orange ones, from like the sun setting and like into the entire darkness. You know something's bad can go after and after and after that one, but you know what? You just want to don't know else. It's basically just like a scratch a bit. Like yeah, this is just like basically a scene of it. But yeah, it's actually kind of a bit nice. I hear that one, but yeah, I'm actually happy that I kind of get to play that one. I don't know. Art style is great, but yeah, the sound is still great as well. It's actually the best, dude. The aesthetics of it, you, you just got vibes of it. Once you play this game, you know it's not that short, it's not that long. But you know, we had, we had appeals to it. But yeah, I'm gonna go end this one of gamers. What a game this one's actually. I'm quite a bit happy that I played this game. But yeah, I'm gonna go end this one of gamers. Like, subscribe, all of those shits. Comment with notification bell, you better do that one. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Johnny, 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 bye bye, Matane. See you again next time, tomorrow, perhaps, maybe. <laughs>